general manager he is presenting the future development trends of smart bracelets to his eldest aunt. Since people are increasingly paying attention to their health, smart bracelets can monitor various body indicators anytime and anywhere, making this market potentially extend to every corner of the earth. The eldest aunt said she hopes he can persuade the board of directors to expand the production of smart bracelets. Next week is the 30th anniversary celebration of the He Group, and the eldest aunt said she would arrange a series of celebratory activities. He Kiawan said he would bring his wife this year, but the eldest aunt said she feared that Chin Yao wouldn't even know how to perform a basic dance. However, general manager he has complete confidence in Chin Yao and told his eldest aunt not to underestimate her. After He Kiawan returned home, he discussed the dinner party with Chin Yao. However, Chin Yao didn't want to go, feeling that such events were just about wearing extremely high heels and tight dresses that made it hard to breathe, and she didn't find it interesting. But He Kiawan told her that, as Mrs. He, her absence from the dinner party would invite gossip. She should accompany him to the event. He then used reverse psychology on Dr. Chin, suggesting that she might be afraid because she couldn't dance. As expected, Chin Yao couldn't resist the challenge and agreed to attend the dinner party and learn to dance. The next day, general manager he arranged for a dance teacher, a clothing designer, and an image consultant to comprehensively train Dr. Chin. He told her she had to practice for eight hours a day without slacking off, and he would be checking on her. After a full day of dance practice, Chin Yao was exhausted. He Kiawan prepared dinner for her which consisted of only vegetables and a glass of milk. However, Chin Yao didn't want to eat just that, she said she needed high-calorie food to comfort her very tired spirit. He Kiawan insisted that the dinner he prepared could fully provide the nutrition and calories she needed. Chin Yao then expressed a strong desire to eat hot pot. In response, general manager he found pictures of hot pot online and told her to look at them while she ate. After finishing her meal, she continued her dance practice. Another day, while working in his study, He Kiawan could hear Chin Yao upstairs, occasionally crying out in distress during her practice. General manager He received a call from his secretary, informing him that they had found the driver involved in the car accident years ago in Tongcheng and had already booked a flight for him that would depart in two hours. He hurriedly left. After He Kiawan's departure, Chin Yao dismissed the teachers for a break and went to He Kiawan's office. She sat in his chair, thinking that since the boss had left, she could give herself a break too. She immediately made plans with Yang Ruaoyi to go eat hot pot. While she was there, Aunt Lu came in to clean and noticed a photo on the desk. She remarked, Isn't this Zhang the driver? Chin Yao asked, Who is Zhang the driver? Aunt Lu explained, He used to drive for the He family. He disappeared after the car accident, and Mr. He has been looking for him for many years without success. Chin Yao picked up the photo and examined it closely. On the back of the photo, it was written, Find the truth. On the way to the airport, He Kiawan's secretary played a recording of Zhang Cheng. In the recording, Zhang Cheng described the night of the car accident, he was driving while He Kiawan's brother and sister in law were arguing in the car. It was raining heavily, and suddenly, a car with its high beams on appeared from the opposite direction, blinding him. He Kiawan interrupted, saying that Zhang Cheng was lying because his brother and sister-in-law never argued. Just then, he received a call informing him that Zhang Cheng had fled again. Furious, He Kiawan went to Wen's office, narrowly missing running into Qin Yao, who was waiting for Yang Ruaoyi to finish work so they could go eat hot pot. He Kiawan stormed into Wen Gu's office and told him that they had found Zhang Cheng, but he had escaped again. Wen Gu remarked that for a mere driver to evade such a powerful search for so many years, there must be more to the story. It seemed the car accident back then was not so simple. He Kiawan agreed, stating that someone must be controlling Zhang Cheng from behind the scenes. He was determined to find the truth and ensure that his brother and sister in law's deaths were not in vain. Meanwhile, Chin Yao, needing to use the restroom, was cautiously trying to avoid running into He Kiawan. However, she ended up colliding with him. Angrily, He Kiawan dragged her into Wen Gu's office and demanded an explanation for why she wasn't home practicing dance. At that moment, 
Yang Ruao Yi entered to deliver some documents to Wen Gu and accidentally revealed that she and Qin Yao had planned to go out for hot pot and milk tea. Wen Gu quickly pulled Yang Ruao Yi out of the room. He Kiaoan told Qin Yao that indulging in hot pot would negate all her previous efforts. Qin Yao argued that her job was to take care of Xiao Bao and that she shouldn't be dragged into things she didn't want to be involved in, including He Kiaoan's personal matters. Hearing this, he Kiaoan felt that Qin Yao had no genuine feelings for him. He admitted it was his mistake to impose his personal affairs on her and then left the room, deeply disappointed. Wen Gu entered and informed Qin Yao about the tragic car accident that took He Kiaoan's brother and sister-in-law's lives, leaving the vast He group in his hands. Despite his efforts to lead the He group out of crisis and elevate it to greater heights, he Kiaoan had always been determined to find the driver responsible for the accident and uncover the truth. Wen Gu explained that He Kiaoan was in a bad mood today because Zhang Cheng had escaped again. Qin Yao asked, did the accident happen five years ago? Where was He Kiaoan at that time? Wen Gu replied, his aunt told me that when He Kiaoan received the call, he rushed to the accident scene and was also involved in a crash there. He was taken to the hospital and remained in a coma for 15 days before waking up. After learning about He Kiaoan's past, Qin Yao was deeply moved. During their hot pot meal, she found herself distracted, thinking about how difficult those years must have been for him. She wanted to do something for He Kiaoan and decided to help him by fully committing to learning how to dance. When she got home, she overheard his aunt telling He Kiaoan that Qin Yao was not suitable to attend the dinner party as Mrs. He. However, He Kiaoan insisted that his choice was correct and asked his aunt to trust his decision. Moved by his support, Qin Yao approached He Kiaoan and asked him to take away all her snacks, showing her determination to practice diligently. Before going to bed, she was still practicing dance in her room. He Kiaoan saw this and came over to help her. As he taught her, Qin Yao started to let loose, taking off her high heels and jumping around to the lively music. This light-hearted moment made He Kiaoan laugh as well. He Kiaoan, the CEO of Heshi Group, accompanies Qin Yao to a formal dinner. Qin Yao forgets to change her shoes and hurriedly switches to high heels. During the banquet, He Kiaoan reassures her that he instructed the kitchen to prepare extra food for her. Inside the banquet hall, he asks if she's nervous and she replies that she isn't because he and Xiao Bao are with her. He Kiaoan introduces Qin Yao to the guests This is my wife, Qin Yao. And then they dance flawlessly together. He Kiaoan's aunt asked her secretary, if the invitation had been delivered to Miss Lin, the secretary replied, yes, it has been delivered. Later, He Kiaoan surprises her by changing her shoes to flats and leads her to the dance floor, where they enjoy her favorite disco music. It's a heartwarming moment between the two. Miss Lin Wei, the wealthy heiress of the Lin group, walked gracefully into the room.